I want to get a little bit of hands-on on the bench here with some of these meters. Over here, I've got a mega, that's a nickname for mega ohm meter. If you've got one of these, because maybe you do hybrid work, you were told this is a really good thing to check those orange cables for leakage, did you know you can use it on ignition circuits? High voltage secondary ignition, like a spark plug. It's actually in one of the OE manuals, so the same thing, you hit that button and see how much resistance you have leakage on a high voltage circuit. Over here, we're looking at just basically a 5 volt analog steady signal. We'll talk about that on the car. We'll talk about signals that are fluctuating a lot. You don't use a scope, you're not into scopes, you don't have time to break it out. You've got your meter handy. What can you do with frequencies that are changing constantly on a meter? And over here is just a good old ohm meter setting. I'm going to take a little second to talk about that. We'll break out here. I'm connected to a Delphi coil on plugs primary winding, just a two wire simple cop and I've got uh, eight tenths of an ohm of resistance. Don't forget, real basic, but a review here. If we clip our leads together, we'll talk more on the car, we clip it together, and we see 0.3, got good leads. We're gonna hit this button called relative delta, and that's gonna go to zeros. It makes everything zero now, and now I go back to the lead, and it's gonna say a little different number. 0.5. So I basically zero the meter. Now 0.8 to 0.5, big difference, could make a specification difference, make or break a proper diagnosis. But did you know, for your advanced techs, that when you use that relative delta button while you're on a signal, resistance, volts, amps, whatever, use it again. Hit that button again, instead of half an ohm here, 0.5, it goes to zero. Delta means rate of change. So if I wiggle the connection on the harness, I heat the coil up, cool it down, whatever I do to make a dynamic test to try to work out an intermittent issue so it acts up on me, I'll see the change. The change will be on the meter. So if you're like wanting to see how much voltage drop there is in a circuit and you clamp onto a section of the circuit to do a voltage drop test, now start wiggling, you'll catch it that way. And then you can actually min max in relative delta mode and then play it back later.